the uh, Chipotle Ranch grilled chicken burrito from Taco Bell is awesome. How do I know? <laughs> so I just made one. And well, I love this thing, first of all. Uh, I just made one and it's delicious and it's incredible. And if you want to see how to do that, then you better watch this video because I'm going to teach you a lot of stuff. All right, let's have some of this now. To get started making our avocado ranch grilled chicken burrito, we're going to start with the chicken. This is delicious. We're going to put a couple of tablespoons of oil into a bag, a tablespoon of vinegar, a bunch of spices here. We're going to mix that up really good. I did a whole video on how to make this chicken. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link right up above here. Uh, we're going to slice the chicken nice and thin so it marinates real good and it cooks really good. This is going to go in the bag. We're going to mix this up really good and marinate this for about an hour in the refrigerator. This is a basic recipe for like a pollo rojas sort of a thing, which is amazing uh, for everything else. But uh, this is going to make a really great burrito. I'm just going to throw this on the grill for about eight minutes total. And when it's done, we're going to pull it off and get ready to make a burrito. In order to make our Chipotle Ranch grilled chicken burrito, we need chicken. And uh, we've cooked our chicken. Uh, I've included uh, a bit of clips from that, a quick overview. There's a whole video on how to make the chicken. But uh, this is basically, uh, we're at the point now, this is nice and cold, it's been in the refrigerator. That's the beautiful thing about this, you can make this in advance, you can throw three or four of these on the grill, throw them in the freezer, bring them out when you're ready and you get a hand crane, and uh, you got a burrito anytime you want it, no drive through required, perfect. So uh, all we gotta do is cut this up, get it in a frying pan, get it heated up, and start assembling our burrito. So let's get this cut up. We have to cut this a little bit finer. That's not quite gonna work in our burrito. So I'm just gonna come across and do this, and do that, and that. Looks like some great pieces for our burrito. Let's get these in the frying pan. Let's get that sliced up chicken into a frying pan just to reheat this a little bit. We're just going to put this in here. Uh, we don't need to add anything else to it. There's enough of this flavor on this chicken that this is plenty. Uh, we're just going to mix this up to get it hot. Don't overcook it or you'll make it super dry. This only takes, uh, you know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, something like that on a medium heat frying pan. And we are ready to assemble. Okay, our chicken is ready. We've got our 10 inch tortilla that we've warmed up a little bit. I just put this in the frying pan over there. We're gonna grill this again. So I have a frying pan sitting over there getting hot, ready for that. Uh, it warmed this up slightly because cold tortillas do not bend. So we're gonna put our chicken on here, put that in place. I'm gonna set this over there because that's where it can be out of the way. Okay. If I've mentioned this before, I'm sorry for repeating myself, but the Fiesta strips that go in this are literally just red tortilla chips. There's no flavor on them or anything like that. They're red tortilla chips. They use a beet, natural beet coloring instead of food dye. Maybe that changes the flavor slightly, but they're not Fiesta-y other than being colorful. So regular tortilla chips, just the broken ones at the bottom of the bag, perfect for this. What else do we need? We need sauces. So avocado ranch, you saw me make the avocado ranch. Here we go, we're gonna put our avocado ranch down with a fair amount of it because it's delicious. Chipotle sauce, because, come on, it's chipotle-rific. Here we go. This is thick and does not wanna come out of this little squeeze bottle because I don't think I got the hole big enough. And it's got some thick chipotle bits in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, I'm not squeezing too hard because I've had the tops pop off of me before. <laughs> That's awkward. It'd be funny as hell on camera, though. That, that tip is pretty cut, and this isn't coming out. Plan B. We need a good amount of sauce, don't we? Yes. I'm gonna have to thin this sauce out a little bit. I think there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit more milk or cream in there. It's gonna thin that out a little bit. It's not a bad idea. Okay. Cheese. Just regular cheddar cheese. Grated up fairly fine. 
Uh, this doesn't have the three cheese blend in it, which, uh, surprise, surprise, is actually four cheeses. That's the secret. Fiesta strips. They always say, our secret three cheese blend. It's four cheeses. That's the secret, folks. Do you know what the uh, cheeses are? I will leave that. Leave a comment if you know what uh, four, four cheeses they are. Three of them are fairly obvious. Two of them are fairly obvious. Okay, we got our tomatoes on here. We've got all of our stuff, and we are going to roll this. So, bring this together. Flip it up. This is all about the fingers and thumbs, folks. Fingers and thumbs. Pull it in. And boom. There is the burrito ungrilled. I'm going to go grill it real fast. Switch to the other camera, quick. Now we've cranked our pan up pretty hot here and we're going to throw the seam side down to begin with. Let it sit for about 20, 25 seconds, something like that. And then we're going to give this a flip and it should be just about perfect. When we are done, it's going to be amazing and taste just like the Taco Bell version. And here we have the grilled chicken chipotle ranch burrito ranch chipotle burrito grilled chicken anyway you say it it's delicious it's amazing and uh i'm gonna cut this open and show you just how delicious this thing is oh you hear the crunch of the fiesta strips mm Hmm. oh yeah folks there it is there it is there it is how much do you want to eat this well Easy. You can either go through the drive-thru and get one that looks kind of like that, or you can just go ahead and make that one because, yeah, there's that. Okay. So the only thing left to do is to take a bite of this beauty. I have been waiting for this. Okay. From all the videos, this is the one I've been waiting for with all the Taco Bell stuff. Yeah. I mean, besides the Mexi Melt and, you know, the pizza and other things like that that I love that are, but on the current menu, come on. Oh, yeah. It's like the Taco Bell version, but maybe just a little bit better. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So uh, there it is. Now you know how to make this. Go ahead and make yourself one. Go ahead and help make yourself two. Uh, three. Who are we kidding? Make a few of these things because everybody's going to want one. And now you know how to make them because you watched this video to the end. And I thank you for that. If you want to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and as always, if you enjoyed this, please uh, consider uh, hitting the thumbs up button down there, because it really helps us with the YouTube algorithm stuff and all that. People interacting with the video is always great too, so leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite item is and what I should be making next. I'd love to hear it. Uh, until then, uh, I will uh, see you on the next one.